Hello and welcome to Med Talks with Dr. Mohin. Today we have a clinical perfusionist with us, Mr. K. A. Shaker. So we are going to talk to him about perfusion. As we know that without perfusionist, a cardiac surgery cannot take place. Thank you so much, Mr. Shekhar, to joining us for this show. My name is uh, K. Shekhar. I am working in Care Hospital uh, Napoli for the past 15 years as a chief clinical perfusionist. Uh, I am very happy to be here in front of you. I uh, just wanted to say something about uh, the role of the perfusionist. The perfusionist it plays a very important role in the cardiac surgery. To put the patient on a cardiopulmonary bypass, to put artificial circulation for the patient who is having coronary artery bypass surgeries and valve defects or complex surgeries. So, right now I am going to tell you about what is the perfusionist role. The perfusionist is mainly uh, make an circuit, so artificial circuit, for putting the patient on some cardiopulmonary bypass and uh, um, to maintain artificial circulation outside of the body and CO2 release of the, uh, from the blood and it decreases. So to maintain artificial, uh, it's a complete uh, bypass surgery. You mean to say that while a cardiothoracic surgeon does a surgery on the heart, before starting perfusion, he has to stop the heart, right? So after he has stopped the heart for the body, for the person to survive, he needs an artificial heart. So, you give artificial heart in the form of a heart-lung machine. Could you please tell us like how that heart-lung machine works? The heart-lung machine, it works like a pump. It is like a pumping action and take out the blood from the uh, heart and uh, give back to the patient. In the meantime, we supply oxygen to the blood and maintain artificially with the help of heart-lung machine. And not only a heart, even lungs also can be maintained artificially throughout the surgery. And in between, we arrest the heart with the uh, role of, uh, I mean, uh, myocardial protection for the heart of uh, making a heart uh, movement to, to arrest the heart and then do the procedures during the surgery. It's nothing but uh, artificial uh, circulation method. Okay. So, what is the perfusionist role in cardiac surgeries? The main role is to maintain artificial circulation with the help of heart-lung machine. The perfusionist role is very vital role uh, in cardiac surgery. Uh, Mr. Shekhar, how does that uh, perfusion machine works? It works like a heart and lungs. Means, uh, before the surgery initiates, we need to keep the 
oxygenator there is a disposable product we keep it ready and attach it to the heart lung machine and drain out the blood from the heart and then put the patient blood in the oxygenator and supply of oxygen to the blood uh, and oxygen supply will be there and then the simultaneously the uh, carbon dioxide removal will be there and to decrease the carbon dioxide levels and maintain artificially uh, with the help of heart lung machine. Uh, can you please tell us what are the responsibilities of a perfusionist? The perfusionist should have um, complete feedback about the patient and then planning for the setting up of the circuit. Okay. That is one important role. Okay. And then the second thing is um, whether it may be a complex surgeries or coronary artery surgeries or valve repairs or any pediatric surgeries, we need to have a proper uh, circuit preparation and everything. And it regulates, completely it regulates the blood levels of the um, uh, patient and to maintain everything during the cardiopulmonary bypass surgeries and measuring of the uh, arterial blood gas samples and the clotting time, clotting factors and the blood salvage. Suppose if you wanted to add any drugs with the help of anesthesiologist and uh, the advice by the doctor, um, cardiac surgeon, we take it and then uh, these are all the resp key responsibilities uh, uh, for the cardiac surgery as a perfusionist. During this COVID season, uh, we have been hearing about a machine called ECMO. They call it a uh, artificial lung. Clinical perfusionist also deals with ECMO and what is ECMO? The ECMO is extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Those who are the patient who is having uh, the very severe uh, lung dysfunction and the patient is having any other like H1N1 uh, virus or ARDS patients or um, severe COVID patients because the lungs are not good. So what we do, we put the patient on veno venous uh, ECMO procedures like uh, supplying uh, the blood and then oxygenation to the lungs and maintain artificial with the help of ECMO machine. It is entirely separate machine for the ECMO and it is maintained by the skilled perfusionists. Uh, to maintain this ECMO everywhere in India and the world. I am sure it must be a challenging job as a clinical uh, perfusionist. Uh, Mr. Shekhar, could you just tell our people how can a person become a perfusionist? Uh, the perfusionists are a very important role in allied health sciences courses. And to get a seat and to study a perfusionist technology, uh, the course is uh, widely available uh, anywhere in India as well as in uh, abroad also. But the thing is the person should have minimum graduation in sciences, biological sciences or any allied health sciences. So to become a clinical scientist uh, perfusion, so we can call them. So to learn a lot of uh, perfusion technology, anatomy, physiology and a lot of uh, uh, subjects are involved in perfusion. To become a perfusionist, uh, this is one of the challenging course I can say. I am having almost 25 years of experience in this field. I am enjoying my field. I am very very much happy to be saving. My goal is ultimate uh, patient's outcome. Uh, Mr. Shekhar, I would like to ask you here, like after they do intermediate, two years of intermediate, they have to take by PC, right? Exactly. After BIPC, they have to take some life sciences like uh, bachelor's in sciences. Like what? What is preferable? After eleventh, I mean intermediate. If you study intermediate BIPC course, the people previously they used to offer BSc of vision. Nowadays they are asking uh, BSc with biology. They are offering directly perfusion course in BSc. So what you have to take is intermediate biology people only prefer to go for a BSc perfusion. In Hyderabad and uh, all over the, uh, in India, there are a lot of courses are offered in different, different hospitals. And uh, some other universities are offering BSc perfusion as well as masters in perfusion also. It is introduced nowadays. Okay, you mean to say that there is bachelor's 
in perfusion available yes if somebody has not done bsc perfusionist course is there any chance that after they do bsc biological sciences and all can they can they still do that course after they have done the bsc in biological sciences like botany zoology chemistry they can go to the perfusion course even uh, degree level and then postgraduate level to become a perfusionist so uh, the, it's, it's uh, upcoming courses it is very good uh, challenging course and a very good course i feel what are all the institutes which are offering these courses in hyderabad uh, there is a nizam institute of medical sciences okay. and uh, usmania they are offering some uh, diploma courses okay. and uh, some courses in tirupati sri venkateshwara institute of medical sciences okay wow that was really wonderful information it was really very really nice talking to you before we wind up could you please just tell us about your one challenging case what you have seen i can tell you one thing we have done lot of uh, challenging cases and emergency cases in care hospital nampalli and we have done recently there is a patient is having a ascending aorta arch repair and the patient is suffering since dilated aorta we we have and a severe aortic stenosis patient we have replaced the valve and then the total repair of the aortic arch uh, and then we replaced the artificial graft and then the patient has come out very well and very smoothly um, this is our latest uh, challenging cases and my goal is like pediatric cases mainly and uh, we have done some couple of uh, lot of cases in uh, in our center i have gained a lot of experience in uh, gulf also i have done a lot of uh, my lowest weight of uh, cardiac surgery patient is uh, uh, 1.2 kilos so uh, that is also one of my challenging case i have done uh, in my uh, career that was really wonderful information we got from uh, mr shekhar thank you so much shekhar for spending your valuable time with us and uh, Thank you for watching us. Stay tuned to us and please subscribe to Mozomin M O Z O O M I N on YouTube. Thank you. Welcome to Med Talks with Dr. Moin.